What's up ladies and gents, this is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Today it's Friday, so it's not my day, it's your day. And Jur, he's in the reef this week. The reef, not the tower. So we've got to find him. We have to see what exotics he's selling, and then we absolutely, positively have got to grade the sucker. Because he might be bringing us some crap, and we need to let everybody know when he brings crap. Also, if you're going to the reef, stop by Varix, get your weekly package. Whenever the Challenge of Elders dropped, I started coming here each week because I was getting a sigil when I was doing the Challenge of Elders. Since I haven't done Challenge of Elders in maybe two months, I haven't really been back by here, but it's a nice, easy way to get some materials. Anyway, Jure is over hanging out by his one and only spot that he finds and hangs out in the reef, and he's brought some stuff. And it looks like we have some okay stuff. It's it's kind of a middling week. Let's just put it this way. It's a middling week this week. For the Titan, we have the Ruin Wings. And the Ruin Wings are basically a PvE only piece of gear. PvE only. If you put these things on in PvP and expect them to do anything, you're probably going to get laughed out of the Crucible. Basically what these do is they let heavy ammo drop more frequently in PvE supposedly, and they pretty much give you surplus so the heavy ammo that you do pick up or the ammo that you do pick up will have more in it. Because these are only suitable for one avenue, I'm going to go ahead and give these things a surprising B. And that's because if you really, really like using your heavy weapons, then these could definitely be for you. Whenever I first got my Yallerhorn, I loved rocking out my Titan with these on. In PvE, it was an absolute monster. Who knows, maybe when the Rise of Iron comes out and we get our Galar Horns back, these things will see a significant boost back in usability. As far as the Hunter, we've got my personal favorite, the Young Amkar's Spine. So you already know the grade I'm going to give these things. I mean, look at them. You're wearing a skull on your shoulder. You've got bones all over the place. These things are pretty cool. They are for the Gunslinger only. And what they do is they give you an additional trip mine grenade, and that additional trip mine grenade will last longer whenever it's out on the field. Back in year one, that was the only effect that these gloves had. With that extra grenade, though, that really boosts these things up. I'm giving them my seal of approval in A. And you're probably like, wait a second, kid. Trip mines got nerfed. And yes, they did. If you threw these like sticky grenades before, you're going to be sorely disappointed. Even though, even if you hit an enemy, it's now about a 50-50 probability of you being able to damage them because they spin around like a lightsaber hitting the enemy. But basically, these things are made for traps and they still work as traps. It's just that damage nerf hurt them a little bit, but I still get a good number of trip mine kills throwing them on walls behind enemies. They're really, really nice. Moving on to our Warlock, we've got the Light Beyond Nemesis, and we talked about this helmet yesterday in our Ingram opening video. This thing used to be significantly better whenever you were able to run through your teammate, hold square down, and revive them by the time you got to the other side. Bungie changed all the revival mechanics, so this thing is just not as good as it was before. I'm gonna give these things... I'm gonna give these things a D. That might be a little bit low. You probably see these a little bit still in the Trials of Osiris, but they are definitely not as prevalent as they used to be. So a D, mainly because that's kind of my commentary on the nerf that this thing got, unfortunately. And finally, we've got a weapon, and we've got the super good advice. Now, what's interesting about this thing is I was really coming into favor with this gun. And then, I think around the June update, some type of bug or something happened. I took this gun in, and I couldn't control it at all. And I told Pooj and Devil whenever we were doing the Nightfall, I was like, wow, the super good advice has like no stability. Apparently that was a bug in the game, and Bungie supposedly fixed it, but I have not picked this gun up since then because I was like, wow, something is totally wrong with this gun. Basically what this does is it lets you fire off all of your ammo in your magazine and your reserves and never have to reload. It's pretty interesting. I'm going to go ahead and give this thing a B-. I'm going to take Bungie at its word that that bug is fixed, and if so, you will find some interesting places to go ahead and use this gun. It's just a shame that it's going to take up your exotic slot. Chances are a B- is going to be higher then you would grade this gun because you probably never use it because, again, it is an exotic. 
So we've got our Legacy Ingrams, those are only going to give you Year 1 Gloves. We've got our Glass Needles, and of course, we are going to purchase some Three of Coins. We've got a lot of Three of Coins already, but then again, we have a lot of Strange Coins as well. So I'm going to stockpile Three of Coins, I'm going to stockpile Strange Coins for when the Rise of Iron comes out. I'm definitely going to start stockpiling Strange Coins, because the first Jure Day after the Rise of Iron drops is going to be absolutely massive. Everybody's going to be going there hoping that Jur has at least one new exotic, and chances are he'll have at least one the first Friday after the Rise of Iron drops. Anyway, that was Jur this week. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, your Jur, and I'll see you around in Destiny. We're grading on a curve.